Mr. President, we are coming through a very difficult year and a half. Our nation and the world has endured a pandemic. We have collectively taken extraordinary steps to defeat this pandemic. And we are coming out on the other side. We saw our nation, we saw the private sector come together with remarkable inventiveness and produce vaccines in record times. And we have seen hundreds of millions of people getting those vaccines. We are in the process of beating this pandemic. Not too long ago, the CDC recognized what was obvious then and is obvious now. Vaccines work. And if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask. The CDC issued that ruling, and I remember that day well. You know, I had been vaccinated a couple of months before then, and after allowing the time for the vaccine to become effective, I decided I was going to stop wearing a mask. Why is that? Because vaccines work, because I believe in science. So I stopped wearing a mask. And there were a handful of senators in the Senate floor who had been vaccinated who stopped wearing masks. Then the CDC, like the Oracle of Delphi, issued its proclamation. Hold on to your seats now. The CDC said vaccines work. But if you're vaccinated, you don't need a mask. And it was truly miraculous in this chamber watching what occurred. As within days, every senator in the chamber began re removing their masks. One after the other after the other. Not just Republicans, Democrats too. We all had our masks off. Now, Mr. Mr. President, I ask you, the day before the oracle of Fauci spoke, did vaccines not work? Did science not operate? No, it was obvious then, and it was obvious on the day that the oracle of the CDC spoke, that vaccines work, which is why every Democrat took their masks off. But fast forward to this week. The CDC issues a new proclamation. Apparently, according to the CDC, vaccines don't work anymore. That science thing, inoperative. We got more important things to worry about, like politics. As an aside, Mr. President, has there ever been an institution in American public life that has more discredited itself more rapidly than the CDC? A year and a half ago, the CDC was one of the most respected medical and scientific organizations on the face of the planet. Today, the CDC has willingly allowed itself to be politicized, to behave as an arm of the DNC, and their credibility is in tatters. It is a joke. We have seen the emails from Dr. Fauci where he said in the midst of the pandemic, masks don't work, they're not effective. People shouldn't use them. Then we saw him say, oh, no, 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 masks work. But I lied to the American people when I said they didn't work because I didn't want them to wear masks because I wanted first responders to get them. Now, pause for a second and think, what the heck is a scientific leader doing lying to the American people supposedly for our own good? The willingness to twist facts to meet political expediency has been stunning. The CDC's ruling this week is not accompanied by any data. They did not roll out studies. They did not roll out facts. They did not say suddenly vaccines aren't working. Instead, they just said, trust us. We have double super secret studies that we're not going to tell you based on double su super su secret super data that we're not going to show you. But trust us because we behave like political hacks and obey us anyway. And by the way, the CDC plays an interesting little game. CDC says, th these are recommendations. These are just recommendations. And then their faithful little foot soldiers, the Democratic office holders, come in and make those recommendations mandates. There's no one more willing to do so than Speaker Pelosi. 
And then, by the way, the local government Democrats that mandate you must obey the CDC, they throw their hands up and say, hey, we're just following the CDC. And the CDC says, hey, we're just making recommendations, and no one's accountable for anything. This makes no sense. One of the things the CDC rolled out this week is an edict that in schools, everybody must be masked. Child, adult, doesn't matter if you're vaccinated, doesn't matter, you must wear a mask. Why? Who knows? Not based on science, not based on medicine. This virus has been unusual, we've seen in certain populations, COVID-19 can be profoundly deadly. If you're very elderly, if you have serious comorbidities, this virus can and has been deadly. But we've also seen among children that the odds of children getting seriously ill from COVID-19 are extremely low. We've seen that children have not proven to be a meaningful vector in the spread of this disease. The science doesn't support special rules for schools. But you know what does? <laughs> the politics. Because the teachers' union bosses came to the CDC and said, we want this rule in place. And the partisan enforcers at the CDC said, Ma'am, yes, ma'am. We will issue the order demanded by the union bosses. Mr. President, give me any plausible argument that that is science, that that is medicine, that that is anything but rank politics. If a Democratic politician wants to say, we're going to obey the union bosses, fine, that's their, that's their prerogative to do so, and they can be held accountable by the voters. But the CDC is supposed to be following science. This is an abuse of power. 